Hi everyone, so the next uh, homebrew app that I want to sort of highlight uh, um, is one of the sort of main reasons you're going to want to have custom firmware, I guess, is for um, managing to theme your switch. So as you can see on my front screen here, I actually have a theme. Um, two rows is the sort of thing I was aiming for most. I wanted to get um, as many sort of games on the front screen as possible. So this holds uh, 12 um, apps so, or games, whatever you want. So the most recent 12 show there, and then um, as on any switch, when you scroll all the way to the right, you can then go to your all software to get to all of them. It's um, but basically use, utilizes the um, front space a bit better. Uh, it puts all the information like the battery and the um, time and the controllers at the bottom. And then you've just got your same settings, everything's the same as the bottom. But it just um, the main reason for me to put this theme on is I want as many icons on the front as possible. There is going to be so many themes that you can download and so much customization that you can do that you'll um, probably get lost in the chaos of themes. But it's really important that um, you don't get too far into it because playing around with it is not what this is about. So to get the theme installer, if you go to your or, um, homebrew app store which we will go to uh, first so if you um, go to tools you will uh, see that it is there NX themes installer so that's what you'll be searching for um, you can search for it by the search button or you can go NX themes installer and find it that way so and if you click on it, you'll see um, that it tells you that it's the latest version for 12.1.0 um, and it basically works with the latest version of Atmosphere as well, 0.19 and the latest version of the Nintendo firmware. There is a disclaimer here under the changes for 2.6.2 and it says we recommend that you uninstall currently installed themes um, Extract the home menu, which you should automatically be prompted to do, and install them again once you have updated. So this is something you've really, really got to remember, that you cannot just update your Switch to the latest uh, version while you have a theme installed. You have to uninstall it before you do it. Um, it won't brick your console. There is a bit of a disclaimer at the front saying it won't brick your console, but it is a possibility that uh, you'll get a black screen. Um, so try and remember that when you're installing these. Um, Click A to download and it will download and install as with any Hamebrew app. And it's very straightforward. Um, now I have it installed. But now let's go back to our Homebrew um, menu. And if we scroll along, you will see that I have NX Themes Installer. So let's just pop that open. And this is um, the warning at the front. So you're running applet mode when watching homebrew from album have less memory that's not the, the warning that comes up when you first boot this so the first time you boot this it will tell you about um uninstalling themes when you update it will give you a warning uh, make sure you uh, adhere to that and have it so and then if you um scroll down to themes i've already installed a theme and that is where we need to install a theme into uh, our sd card under themes um, I'm going to show you in a minute where to download those themes, uh, but it's very easy. There's a Reddit with hundreds on there which you can choose from. So you can um, remote install them. Um, I haven't used this myself as it is such an easy way to just sort of go onto it and drop the uh, files in. Uninstall the themes. So this is where you're going to uninstall it for when you update. So I've already got my theme um, activated. So it says here, use this to uninstall the currently installed themes. If you have any issues, try fully removing the lead FS directory and home menu patches by pressing L and R as well. So you might as well um, just do that anyway to avoid any issues. But this is the really important thing is that you need to extract your home menu. It's kind of like your home menu is a theme. So make sure it will, will prompt you to do this at the beginning. But if you skip it, um, by accident, drop back down here before you do anything with themes and extract your home menu. That will just keep a file of your home menu stored away. And as it says at the top, it'll be needed for firmware changes. Okay, settings, um, very 
simple enable custom items and custom layouts so that's what you, that's what a theme is um credits whoever made it and uh, reboot if you want to uh, reboot um so it just means it will um you don't need to take out your code on rcm and uh, jig you can just reboot this way and it'll take you back into your custom firmware so themes let's go and get some themes so I'm going to pop over to a screen grab and show you uh, the Reddit or subreddit um, of where the themes are kept or where the majority of themes are kept. I'm sure a Google search will be able to find more, but this is where we're going to get them from. Um, and it's very straightforward. Okay, so let's quickly do that. And so what you need to do is get over to this uh, Reddit or subreddit, uh, which I'll link in the description. Uh, it's called uh, NX Themes. And when you're in um, NX Themes uh, Reddit, you're going to post, go to the second tab here, which is actually where the themes are. And what you're going to be able to do here is basically browse the themes. So people upload all these themes and they've got a little um, snippet of them here. So you can search for what you um, really want. Uh, so you can sort by new here or like hot relevant. So like get a top and these would be the most voted for ones um, that would be probably the most popular ones but you might be looking for something uh, specific so I was looking for something with two rows that could hold like a lot of um, icons um, and you can sort of see snapshots from here so horizontal icons themes and uh, vertical ones be um, aware that some of them won't be able to pull the pictures from the uh, switch uh, information I had so it says here this is not a simple plug-and-play theme you'll need to manually create your own icons or download them with the correct dimensions so that put me off straight away I don't want to be playing around with themes um, I just want something that would sort of plug and play uh, the ver vertical ones um, they look really cool so they look like um, sort of you can get uh, game covers which but I imagine there is um, a Sort of library of these where you can download them more um, and stuff like that but I was like oh it's a bit more work than I was sort of looking for so I found one um, I think this is actually a theme I have on my switch at the moment and yeah this is it so it was quite simple um, it looked quite cool so it was like quite subtle the background but it had two rows of um, games on the front screen which is what I was sort of uh, vying for Everything else is quite minimalistic. Um, and then you've just got to find the link for it. So this guy put the link down here and then you can download it. So after you've downloaded it, um, that is when you will it will create a file. So 1.5 megs is nothing. And we'll just quickly open this so you can see what it looks like. So it actually this one's got the folder structure created for you. But basically it's got to go in your switch folder and then you need to create a folder called themes and then leave that folder there so all that information you don't want that um so what i'm going to do um i'm going to go back over to um my switch sd card and i'm going to show you where you want to drag and drop this theme into and then it is really a matter of just rebooting and it will uh, boost in the theme uh, oh no sorry it'll be a matter of, um going to the theme installer and installing the theme and then rebooting um so we'll get that done now and Hopefully it'll be quite a straightforward process. Okay, so once you have opened up your, um, once you've downloaded your theme, so open it up into your uh, WinZip or the, get the folder unzipped. Um, you can don't need to unzip it, but I've just got it open here in WinRAR. And so this is the theme I downloaded, Grey Hope um, dash theme. And then over to the right here, I have my SD card. So this is what uh, my SD card. Uh, it looks like when I open it and if you haven't already got it you need to create a folder called themes or lowercase on the um, root of your SD card so the very base folder if uh, you don't know what that means so and if not this one this theme actually has created a folder but some of them might not so let's go over to the themes folder and there you can see that I've got my grey hope and system data is my um, that is my extracted home screen saved there so you, you might want to make sure it's saved on your SD card but it might also be worth just 
taking a copy of this um, and copying it to your desktop, okay? Um, but over here on the SD card, Grey Hope. So this is the base folder of the theme. So take it from the zip or the RAR or whatever it is and then drop it into your themes folder on your SD card. And it is literally just a matter of drag and drop and it's going to ask me to replace it. I've already done it, but it's already there. So put it in and then there are all, all the files that are um, part of the theme. So it's as simple as that, just dropping it in. And now what we'll do, we're going to pop the SD card back out and we're going to put it back into our switch and enable the theme via NX Themes installer. Okay, great. Okay, so once you've got your SD card back in your switch and you boot it into your custom firmware, pop over to um, NX Themes installer. And once we're in it, uh, you should now see in your themes a folder, uh, the folder that we created. Uh, so Grey Hope was the theme that I downloaded and it is the one that um, I copied over to my SD card. So you'll see numerous ones. Um, and this is where you need to, um, there's two ways of doing this. So you can go into the folder, install um, certain aspects of it if you want. So just a user page, the script settings, a lock screen, the home menu, all, all apps menu. But if we just pop back by pressing B, um, we whilst we're actually hovering over the folder, this is where you be able to press the plus symbol on your. Oh. So it glitches out. But if you press the plus uh, A, and then well, it did work for me just now. I promise you. So, so um, I. We'll go into it. Uh, usually you can press the plus symbol and you can just install the folder. Um, it's not showing up on mine. It's because I just installed it about five seconds before I turned turn the screen on. But either way, press the plus, plus button to install the whole folder. Or go into it. Now you can press Y and multi-select and then select each individual icon. So if you only want to select a few of them, you can. Or if you want to install the whole theme, by all means do, and then press plus to install selected. And it's just real quick, it quickly installs everything. And then and after you've done that, it will not give you any sort of confirmation it's done, but you are going to assume it is done. Go down to the reboot button here and reboot your switch um, into your payload. I'm not going to do it because um, my uh, capture card always glitches out when I do it. But after you've rebooted, you'll be able to go to open up your switch and you will have the new theme installed as this. So whatever theme you download, installed. And it just if you want to un uninstall it, just pop back to NX Theme Installer and click the Uninstall button. So as you saw here, uninstall theme and uninstall, and that will take the theme away. And then reboot and you're done. Hopefully this has been quite helpful um, and a little highlight as to what NXG installer is. Um, if you really like the videos, thank you very much. Um, cheers.